Hey everybody, NWA Prepper here. <clears throat> Who do you surround yourself with? Are they good people? Are they bad people? How do you feel about them? I would hope that you surround yourself with people that you think are good folks. That is not often the case. I, that's not often. Currently, I am having to deal with folks, and not on a personal level. I mean, I don't mean my circle, but I'm having to deal with folks that I could just really give a rip less about. I don't like who they are. I don't like their moral fiber or lack thereof. I don't like the way they talk. And by that I mean I'm not a big I'm a big profanity guy. I throw them out there every now and then. I understand that there's a reason people say them to include myself. I'm I'm not saying that. But I don't like every other word to be F this or F that or... And with these guys it is. There's a couple of them. And so I don't want to be around them. I'm, I don't like to be around them. I don't, you know, that. And I don't know that they have habits that I disagree with. And it's very judgmental of me to think that they might. But they might. So I don't like to be around them. But I currently ha kind of have to be. I mean, I'm, I'm not going out on guys night and go, Hey guys, let's go out and catch a movie. I don't mean like that. Just got to be around them enough till I get a project done. And, I, and your life may be the same way. And in today's world, right now, post, post, or pre-apocalyptic, I guess, pre-SHTF or whatever, yeah, whatever, I'm, I'm angry. So today, we have to deal with people that we may not like. And we may not like enough about them that it bothers us makes us uncomfortable and that's okay today we got to deal with it pull up your big boy pants and forge ahead but you need to know those aren't the people you need to depend on where the rubber meets the road because if you feel that way about them they feel a similar way about you and, and you're never going to be on top of their heart. You're never going to be their priority. And they're never going to be your priority. So you need to make sure the people that you choose to be around are people that you want to be around. When you're work looking for people, when you're going to meetings and, and meetups and meet and greets and, and preparedness shows and classes or whatever you're going to to meet like-minded people you need to know that you're not going to like everybody don't force a relationship to form don't not I'm not saying don't give someone a chance to get to know who they really are but if your first instinct is man I don't like that person and that doesn't go away the, when you get to know them a little bit don't push it. Don't waste the energy to try to build a relationship for when times are tough. Keep an everyday, day-to-day, -to -day, today relationship with them, but don't let them in. Don't let people into your inner circle or your second circle or your third circle, wherever that, that line is for you, that you don't like, that you don't feel a kinship to, a desire that, wow, this, 
this person may take half ration so my kid could eat. Those people are way easier to find than people that are good for us. Those people are a dime a dozen. And, I mean, that's just just the way it is. Good people are hard to find. It takes work. It takes effort. It takes heart. It takes prayer. When you meet somebody new and you want to open up your life to them, you need to pray about it. You, you need to talk to the boss. Then you need to talk to your family. My belief in God is, is important. It's a cornerstone of my life. It's the foundation of everything I try to do. That's the only thing stable in my life. Some of you may, may disagree completely. And that is totally okay. But when I meet somebody new or somebody approaches me, and this happens to me more than than the other here lately they approach me and, and want to try to to get to know me sometimes it's great uh, a guy that lives near me a family not just the gentleman I, his name is irrelevant he lives south of me he means enough to me that I bought him a Christmas present <laughs> And his family, and, and we met, and we bumped into each other at the grocery store where I live, and we spent time together, and we exchanged presents, and it just, it meant a lot to me. I, I need to make more time for him, because that's a relationship that feels good to me. That's a relationship that, that I need to pursue. Versus, and, I, and I, it's kind of funny, the North versus the South. That family lives South of me, and I really want to pursue them. This next gentleman lives North of me a little bit. And I just get the eebie-jeebies. And I've, I've got to finish this project through that we're in the middle of. But he's like a pry bar. You know, and, and so I end up getting frustrated and just telling him you know we're not going to talk about that or you know I walk away I go do something different you got to be the same way if you don't feel right it's not turning your back on a person you can still communicate with them and deal with them on a regular basis but don't let them into your circle don't open up your heart don't open up your homestead to them if you don't feel that that's a good fit. You're going to feel that way way more often than you're going to feel that I want this person as part of my team. And your team can be whatever you want. I'm not talking about your core unit or around that. You, they can be five times removed and still be part of your team. Your go-to people for different things. I am as dumb as a box of rocks, but I'm really blessed that I have really smart people around me. And that's important. I've got people that I, for whatever I want, I could call them and get things done. It's awesome. I love it. Goes back to the, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Well, everyday life is the same way. And when you find somebody that you like, you pray about them, and it still feels right, and you talk about them with your family, and it still feels right, those are the people to open up to. See if they reciprocate, or if their feelings are reciprocated back to you. However, I'm using that word wrong, so. Toxic people hurt your life 
in lots and lots of ways. So stay away from them. Thanks for watching. Um, I am in the middle of the road, but I still got to stop. Thanks for watching. Let's get ready.